the first one is the um, it has to do with implementation. Uh, so first of all, the good news is that um, I'm really glad to see that the Act is um, is uh, putting forward the idea of creating a European board for media services, a pan-European regulator. We spoke a lot about that. Uh, I mentioned in the past that such a such regulations and such laws at European Union level would would not make sense at national level, where you have a lot of uh, a lot of politicization without a pan-European instrument uh, to actually implement these laws, so um, uh, this legal provision. So I'm really glad to see that. Uh, but my my critic here is that um, uh, it seems that this body will will consist mostly of people coming from the national regulatory authorities, which is great. But what is really missing, in my view, is the uh, the presence of civil society. I really believe, uh, especially because we have a lot of issues with independence of national regulatory authorities in some countries in Europe, uh, I strongly believe that you need the presence of representatives of uh, civil society, organizations defending the rights of journalists, uh, people working in, in academic uh, establishments and others. And what is also very important there is to have a very clear system of rotation to make sure that people on this body uh, will change uh, in, in order not to create that dependence between, between regulations and those who are regulated.